I'm just waiting for everybody to come in. Welcome to everybody. I always do this foolishness. Always pressing the wrong thing. Give me a second, guys. I'm actually going to be inviting our guests to come on. Buddy Ben, how's your week going? What up? Hi, uh, Sue Bear, 4692. Hey. <laughs> hey, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> how has your week been going? I was just asking everybody how their week has been going. It's It's been a week. I'm, I'm about ready for Friday. <laughs> I was ready on yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> we definitely... Definitely are waiting for the, um, the the week to actually be done. Everywhere is basically opened now. I almost, know. Here too. Almost everywhere. Yeah. Well, I'm in Chicago uh, and we're in phase five, they call it. So I'm, I'm pretty much normal. Still some, some restrictions, but no more masks. <laughs> okay. So what I want you to do is just basically introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself and then go into how you started this love for shoes. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, so my name's Dana, or as you know me, Fancy Pants and Champs. Um, I uh, live in Chicago, and um, I don't know what else is too exciting about me. I'm 36. I work in customer oh. service. I know it's not as glamorous as my Who shoes cares? Would, <laughs> okay. Okay. would lead you to believe, um, but I work in customer service actually for the railroad, and I love it. Um, I got started loving shoes, literally, they say out of the womb. There's a picture of me. It's actually on my feed. If you follow me or choose to after way, way, way in the beginning of me, you know, in diapers with my mom's banana yellow heels on. <laughs> she always, always wore heels. And from just, oh gosh, since I was little, I thought it was so glamorous. Oh, as soon as I could get them, I was ready to be in them. So it sounds like it's like mom's closet kind of introduce you to, you know, how girls like to dress up and put on mommy's heels and act like she's fancy and cute. Exactly. Exactly. She, she held off as long as she could to, to keep me away from, cause I always, you know, I wanted the cool ones like she did. She's like, okay, you're a little young for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. She did. And still she laughs with me about my shoes, but yeah, that's where it started. Oof. Okay. Cool. So I'm just going to say hi to a few people that's been yeah. saying hi in the comment section. Hi, Phil. P.S. I don't Phillips. Oh, Phillips Bill 947 says hi, ladies. It's Bill. Good evening. Good evening. Hola to JZ5852. And some people are still saying hello. And some other people look like they want to join the live, but I learned my lesson the first time. <laughs> Were you on that the first time? Were you on the first? The no, first I didn't see that. Did people pop in? So um, the very first stiletto one-on-one, -on -one, um, I was just basically by myself. And then some people were looking to request to come on. So I chose a couple of people. Some people were silent. And I chose somebody who decided to just show his genitals. You know, I would never <laughs> will I do that again, you know? <laughs> Let's get into um, some questions. So I have some questions that were sent in. I don't know. We're always getting questions about the, um, about Louboutins. I don't know if they, if everybody just loves the it's, brand. Um, or the majority of my spend. account is Louboutins. So. Say it again? Yeah. Majority? Yeah, the majority of it. I might count okay. my shoes that I wear Louboutins. So that. That would be spot on. <laughs> All right. So the first question in regards to Louboutins is, how did you first get into Louboutins? Oh, my goodness. This, I was actually thinking this might come up, so I was ready with my with my answer. Um, so it was probably, I'm 36 now, so about 10, 12, 13 years ago. Um, my then husband dropped one of those hints, like, what are those cool red bottom? heels that all the girls wear and you know I never had them but I was like oh Christian Lip Gen you know I went off on my rant and they showed up under the tree for Christmas and I wore those so that's when death. you first got into them with Christmas time Christmas time I opened it up and it was like oh, very simple black pumps but oh 
I wore them until they fell apart. And that was it. And those were your first ones? My first ones. I wish I could remember the name. They're probably similar to what like the simple pump is right now if people are thinking about the styles. I know they don't make it anymore, but that was that red bottom journey was that was it. <laughs> and then Cardi B came and just really put them back on the map about the red bottom. <laughs> she did. I tell you what she really did. Um, okay, so I think I already asked, so I was going to ask the question of what sparked your love for shoes. So I think initially you were saying that your mom introduced the, her clo um, her shoes collection basically was what kind of sparked your interest. Yeah. So what really, as an adult or whatever age, teenager, that really just like got you Come in play. to start to really love it and say, yeah, this is what I want to wear all the time. Definitely. Or whenever. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I was think back, it was probably my freshman, no, my sophomore year of college, and I come home for the uh, summer, you know, had to find a job. And I was getting all dressed up, and I found um, these pink Steve Madden heels. They weren't, you know, too high or anything, but, you know, just the coolest stiletto. And I thought, oh, yeah, I got to have those. And my mom bought them for me. And I yeah. went on an interview for a job as a hostess at a restaurant that was opening up really close to my house, a nice steakhouse. And I wore this pink top and these pink shoes. And I'll never forget, I did the interview. He goes, you know what? We were done hiring. He goes, but you had pink shoes on, those pink heels. <laughs> oh. I'll never forget that. And then just kind of stuck with me. I felt really powerful. I felt confident yeah. for whatever reason that maybe that love of it, you know, all those years ago watching my mom, I got into that stance and it was like, oh this is it yeah. and then you know and then working there and continuing to dress up and things like that certainly helped my yeah. buying a lot of shoes um but yeah in that moment that feeling every time i put on heels now i feel that i don't know contentment that that power yeah that yeah, confidence however. like yeah your spine has make you just stand taller with this with the heels i i exactly. can definitely relate to that yeah um so i have this question for you so if you could design a shoe what would be the material used and the height of the shoes? Ooh, um, that's good. I definitely go with leather, um, just yeah. like a, a calfskin or something like that. I'm really hard on patent and PVC. I'm really hard on my shoes in general. So usually like a straight kid leather, it's always, you know, the way to go. Um, I'm, you know, and for me, I'm just hearing that, all I see in my head is the socate. Because yeah. right at that like four inch mark with a beautiful kid leather, you know, open toe. Oh my goodness, right there. That's and it, like a strappy sandal, done. <laughs> so sand, uh, leather, strappy sandals, and what's the height that you would? Four inches, at 120, I should say. Yeah, 120. Four okay, what are the questions? So do you like to have shoes match your outfit or stand out as a statement piece? It depends, um, I guess, on the event that I'm going to, yeah. you know, or how, yeah. uh, you know, excited or dressed up or whatever it calls for. So I um, go out with my girlfriends every other week for drinks. We do our little after work thing. And I'll have more fun with that. I'll wear heels that stand out a little more. That's yeah. not traditional as far as, you know, like, hmm, we don't see that yeah. a lot. And it's fun, you know, that. And then, um, like, with work and corporate settings and things where it's, you know, a little more. Um, yeah, exactly. Then I, I like to have that, yeah. All the way down that suited look it's it's on point so i get to enjoy both <laughs> okay my other question is um what is the most shoes you have ever had in your closet at any one time oh i can think of how many shoes that's good i could probably you know what i could probably ballpark at the and this was right at the beginning of the, you know, 12, 13 years ago, the love for shoes, well, love for Louboutins, that took off. At one point we were pushing like 300 and I had to get that a little bit in check. So that's when I learned the, the love of recycling into a lot yeah, of, Yeah, you know, that's actually, selling, that's, recycling. <laughs> that's my next question. So you know how we've been in this whole pandemic and we can't really come out, stepping out fly, feeling like, we're the most beautiful thing in our nice heels, our accessories, and just <laughs> feeling like the most. Right, right. You know? And then now they're sitting in the closet collecting dust. 
Um, and then now we're open up, but did you downsize seeing as you weren't able to really um, use your shoes as much as it would have been when it's opened up? And the next part would be have you now, actually answer that question first and I'll, I'll, I'll ask the next question. That's fair. Um, I definitely, I'll say at any time of the year in my life, I was never more tempted to go through and sell because it was like, whatever small yeah. thing you know you go through you're like oh well when's the last time I wore this well when's the last time I wore any of that you yeah. know so it's hard to I definitely um would talk myself out of it more than that or send a message to my girlfriend um Shantae she's in Japan um we actually met through our love of Louboutins and I'd send her a message you know what should I do should I sell this and she's no you know hold on yeah. to it you're getting you know because you do you get stir crazy and you, you yeah. start going through your closets and reorganizing things and you think oh I could just get rid of these. I could just, so thank, I think maybe like one or two pairs I recycled, but that was for funds for, for other ones when, when it opened up. <laughs> so next question is now that we're basically the world is opening back up. Are you considering to replace those two shoes? Are you looking to add anything more kind of like giving, I guess first for myself, it feels like, oh, okay, now I have to give, give like give a debut again of myself because right? now we've been closed out for so long i feel like i have to come out with like myself well done to just present <laughs> myself to the world again so have you thought of getting any more shoes thing as everything is opening up now just to kind of make your debut oh yes yes um when's gonna be delivered today we've got oh. two others on or, yeah put it this way there's been four in total that'll be coming to a closet near me and an instagram um, near you yeah. soon so yeah and maybe I, I got a little haywire because I did really good about not buying during the pandemic too when you know out of boredom sometimes you're like oh you know yeah. you just go through that so I did really good that way so at least I wasn't too terrible it just kind of you know <gasps> we're open again go do this yeah. but yeah it kind of felt like you wanted a, a new look a summer refresh like you said a, a debut so when you walk yeah. out and fly again like a yes. rebirth from the pandemic. <laughs> All right. So seeing as we're talking about debut, so my next question is, do you consider yourself to be a strut queen when walking in heels? And if so, give us some pointers on how to own the heels that you're walking in. I love it. I love it. Um, I definitely would put it out there, strut queen, you know? If you're going to wear yeah. it, if you're going to shake it, flaunt it. Um, biggest thing, and, and it hurts my heart when I see young women and women wearing um, heels, trying to strut, and they're not wearing the right heels. My biggest piece of advice is wear something that's the appropriate height that you're comfortable in, yeah. that you're not, you know, wobbly needing because you're going to strut and people are going to look like, really? Um, a strut in the right heel, in the right height by anybody. Oh, that looks good because they're confident and you're walking yeah. strong. And I always think to myself, I know it's kind of silly, but like, and I'm sure if anybody's done yoga or anything, um, you know, the balloon in your belly button, like all the way to your back. It's like, yeah. hey, just a little straighter. Tuck it in, posture yeah. up, one foot in front of the other, and take your time, girl. Exactly. I was just going to say, <laughs> and it does not have have to be a race. Yes. <laughs> Watch your does. surroundings, you know, be aware of that. Because um, certainly you can certainly fall or walk too fast or get nervous and it's like just yeah embrace that and everything then you know got to strut those calves if you're doing it yeah pull that out all day that is more Would than you say when i strut poke your, I just... poke your stick your chest out right. and your booty, just let your booty poke out just a little bit and suck your tummy in and one foot in front of the other and it just like it tightens just just the right way just the right way so yeah oh yeah and it's, it it's summer really strutting sexy. time <laughs> It looks sexy. I just learned last week that I don't actually I didn't fact check this. So I really don't even want to put that out there. I was saying that men were the ones that actually invented heels. And apparently it is uh, it was to not step in mud or something like that or, or farming or something like that. So basically the heels was actually invented for men to wear. That, I, the reasoning, I don't know, but I believe I've heard the same thing, that it was yeah. not a feminine thing or a female thing to begin with. So I, I know that I've heard that, but the reasoning, yeah, I've never, yeah, I don't I'm know those, sure. but that, that, I, yeah, I got to look that up now. <laughs> 
Do you have one or two pairs of shoes that you would like to show us? That you oh, really my like? goodness. Um, I, I should have told you from before. That's okay. Hold on. If you just take a little walk with me from one room to the other. Okay. Is everybody good in the comment section? How's everybody <laughs> doing, guys? Okay, now don't worry about this messy room. Um, <clears throat> Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay. Sorry if you're saying all sorts of a mess, everybody. So one of them that I always love, love to show, because it took me forever to get these and to find these was um Ooh, my sparse crystal. I, really, I don't know. I love those. I always love sparkles. Those are right. Nice. Yeah. These are just like my babies. I found them and saved up for him and it was like oh you know one of those little goals you keep in there turn, turn your body to the light so that we can see it's gonna say that i know it's kind of bad lighting yeah, in here those are, yeah there we go those are really nice I thanks really love them. yeah these are fun those are one of my other ones and then oh if you'll bear with me as i move boxes around um my apologies as the cameras probably people are like really Let's well, I'm just going to read some of the comments. So, Peter the Roach. What? Peter, what kind of name is this? Peter the Roach says she is killing it already. <laughs> uh, it's like now flushing. Then... <laughs> um, so, my other fun ones, and I'm glad you guys did, actually. So, these are um, Pagal, I don't know if you can see, 140s, yeah. which are just continued, but they are amazing because they're actually signed by the man mm -hmm. himself. Those, you always have... Are those red? Are they red or are they the, uh, like hot pink? I was about to say, they're hot pink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like those. That was fun. I love the that, so that was at an event um, that I got to be at through, um, I think, Neiman's it was. It was a while ago. Oh, starstruck. <laughs> so these are my other babies. <laughs> so do you go, so, so being as you just said that you got inside, so do you go to like little shoe events or anything that the designer may be having, any fashion shows or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, as much as I certainly make it better light out of here. As much as I can, for sure. Um, a lot of it, people, you know, who may um, be watching or hear about this, you get close with sales associates, maybe through Neiman, Saks, you know, the bigger yeah. uh, shopping houses. Apartments. And yeah. when you get close with that, yeah, you're able to go to, you know, certain events. And of course, it's based on who you shop with and how much you shop, et cetera. Um, and sometimes just being a loyal customer for years and years doesn't matter, you know, how little or less you spend. Um, it's really nice to get to go to those events. So yeah, it's fun. Yeah, Definitely cool. taking advantage of that a few times. All right. So Binkley Bloom said hello. Supporting <laughs> Dana. She is awesome. Hello, hello. And Giuseppe581. I don't know what he meant by that. So I'll skip over that. Um, Hot Wheel Robbie said, I love hearing your lovely voice. Listen, girl, you have a lot. Fans That's here. my fam recognizing lots of my loyal fans, and I love you guys for tuning in. Oh my gosh, it makes my heart smile. And yes, Hot Wheels Robbie always tells me to to talk more in my videos. So, <laughs> hey, X Garrett fourteen X says, "Do you wear heels every day?" Not every day. Um, you know, I should. Well, yeah, I shouldn't say that. It's kind of tough because of the last year, because of the pandemic. Thinking, you know, prior to that with work. Yeah, you know, five, six days out of the week, I was wearing heels to work. And then all of a sudden, that stopped. And it's like, hmm. Um, so on the regular, if this was regular times going downtown, absolutely. No, you know, no, because I work from home. And I think as, you know, like you said, we're open. It's definitely been been ramping up. It's nice to do outfit of the day posts and um, be able to let my shoes know I didn't forget about them. <laughs> So I have this other question. Um, do you, I don't know if I should even ask this question, but I'll ask it anyways. I'm an I have two book. questions, actually. Both of them, I, I'll i just ask anyways, because I can. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the question is, the reason why I'm saying, I don't know if I should ask this question, because do you prefer to wear heels with naked legs, or do you like to wear it with stockings? Naked legs, okay. all the way. Oh all day gosh. and i know Every there's day. a big debate and i didn't yes. realize that until i got you know more like with the shoe posts you know on instagram but naked legs all day 
tan put that and I'm, I'm italian so i'm always naturally a little more olive so it was yeah. like this, i don't know my grandma always told me you know where she was very pantyhose all the time old school but yeah yeah a naked leg but some you know, women who wear the hosiery look absolutely beautiful in it um yeah I think that's a whole other you know look that people can pull off just not for me well the hosiery game has kind of stepped up there's like rhinestones there's huge so much different um, things that's out there now in regards to um, pantyhose. It basically luxury lines are basically out there in terms. I was going to say sparkles. it's getting pricey. Like these are just it, your, yeah. you know, you're going to go to Nordstrom's or whatever and get some pantyhose. These are 100, 150 from what yeah. I heard. You know, some yeah. really like expensive lines. So which is very cool. It's very interesting how the trends. Yeah. Are. Yeah. And next little saucy question. Um, I know you, <laughs> hold on, wait, I'm trying to remember, I don't, I'm trying to remember if you said, you're in a relationship, you said that you had your husband, something like that. No, uh, my then husband, he has since you're become there. my ex-husband, but he did. Okay, you know what, it doesn't even matter, it doesn't matter, or maybe it does, if you're <laughs> single, uh, we can talk about, you know, being single and walking in these heels, um, <laughs> but the question is, what, to make your night sexy, what is your go-to pumps or open toe or whatever is that? So when you're making your night sexy, what is your go-to? Oh, it's my stiletto. Oh, it's my stiletto. soap tape right there. I would, I, I like um, showing off my legs. I work out a lot. I run. Yeah. And it's just, you know, the part of your body. It's like, what are you most confident? It's always, you know, my oh, legs. Right. Something short and, you know, long sleep top. Because if you're going to show a lot down there, you make yeah. sure you're covered up somewhere else and just yes. those power stilettos put those yes. on that's it that's where i want are to they platforms like the stripper heel no these are like flat you know flat bottom that's four it. inch skinny skinny stilettos skinny stilettos oh yeah y'all hear that <laughs> you guys hear that she turned it up she turns up in the bedroom guys always <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to read a comment that's here. So, listen, guys, you guys can just choose some names that I can actually try to pronounce, <laughs> guys. Okay, so X, um, Pure Energy 202. Okay, I, I, I can dig that name. Heels are amazing. I'm a guy, and I, ha I even have a crazy big collection. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. And then awesome. I think here's another friend or someone it's from Sean Payne. My okay, Sean Payne, your name is very regular. Uh, four, six, four, two, six, five. Hi, Dana. You're beautiful as always. I'm a huge fan of yours. So Hi, much love Sean. to you. Yeah. <laughs> He's been one of my followers from like the beginning and it's just awesome. And love you, Sean. Thank you for tuning in. Those are my guys. <laughs> And we have uh, from Pure Expert Energy again, 202 leather five inch inch heels is what I believe that he likes. Um, Jim Brockman says hello, hi Jim. <laughs> hello. <laughs> and Binkley Bloom underscore Bloom says leather always wins. I definitely agree on that. Leather yes. always wins. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> and last long good absolutely. quality i can agree on that yeah um oh look this is a good question here sean Payne says are you planning having a fashion blog on the internet you know it's something i've always toyed with because i do i love fashion I love shoes purses you know accessories you know more things than obviously i put just on my instagram um and but the only thing I've never you know pulled the plug, never done anything. I know lots of you know my girlfriends on here who have and have been really successful. Um, for me, it's this is so much fun and it's a hobby, and I, yeah. I think I don't want to ruin it with making it a job, so to speak, or where yeah. it has to be something regular. Like I love that I can share, 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 Whenever. share, share, and then maybe not for a couple of days. Yes. Um, so, but I love reading all my girlfriends' blogs and stuff like that. But for me, no, I'd rather just you know. Do something like this, so not my Sean, game. <laughs> just browse on her page and enjoy her page. Yeah, <laughs> send your heart. 
<laughs> my stories uh, are my fashion blog. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm just trying to read. No, okay. Oh, someone, someone said the same thing as me when you said, what my girlfriend wears. Oh, well, my girlfriend, I got confused. I'm like, did I send that message? Because I'm shoes. My um, she said, wow, 300 pairs of shoes. That is wow. Um, yeah, and the same person said, you have to come out strong. Um, uncaged, um, damage in corpse says uncaged. Um, as Hulk. 77 says hi hi as hulk hi, hi. Um, oh so the other the what my girlfriend wears says butchers avoid stepping in blood that was i think that's so that's what i think it's the same person that said the same thing last week for the heels yeah for them to avoid stepping in blood is why they were wearing heels oh how interesting is right learn something new every day thank you I, I didn't hear you said that but thank you whoever um chimed in with that very interesting especially talking with you know louboutins and the red bottom <laughs> yeah <laughs> um eight sarda 210 says i am a cross dresser oh you must have all the fun <laughs> right all the fun all the fun totally agree love it Cassie move four three nine eight says hello. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, hey, how you doing? And Peter, Peter the Roach. Peter, listen, Peter, Peter the Roach. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's called the Queen of Heels on my IG pages. My awesome. I'm telling you, I got the best followers in the world. They're just the coolest. That's no crazy. idea. <laughs> uh, let me see if there's anything else. So, guys, oh, sorry. We're going to wrap it up. This was super, super fun. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we actually wrap this up? Nothing too crazy, but thank you. I was so excited when I got your message. I thought, wow, you know, this is something fun. I get to talk about shoes with somebody who loves shoes and have people tune in and just use this platform in a different way that, you know, I never have and be able to connect with so many people and have to talk to somebody as awesome as you. This was just very flattered, my honor. And, you know, I'm always here. You know, you need a return guest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a really, really good time. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for showing your beautiful shoes. I'm just going to DM you and tell you that I want those really nice sparkling <laughs> shoes that you have. You know, <laughs> send it to me one of these days. Everybody that tuned in and stayed on and sent so much love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you probably in the next couple of weeks. You guys will find out. Thank you so much, Nina. Good. Of course. Bye, girl. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. guys.